Hey guys, it's Layla. Our topic for today is the hand. So starting with the bones as usual, you have the carpals, the metacarpals, and the phalanges. The joint is the radiocarpal joint. The muscles, there are two main groups, the extrinsic and the intrinsic muscles. The extrinsic muscles come from the forearm and the intrinsic muscles are within the hand. Now the intrinsic muscles are split into two groups as well, the thenar muscles and the hyperthenar muscles. Keep the thumb in mind when speaking about the thenar muscles and keep the little finger in mind when you're speaking about the hyperthenar muscles. We'll start with the thenar muscles. You have three thenar muscles. You have the flexor, the abductor, and the opponents. So flexor, pollicis, brevis, abductor, pollicis, brevis, and then opponents, pollicis. The muscle in blue is known as the adductor pollicis, but it is not counted as a thenar muscle. The hypothenar muscles, there are three of them as well. So you have the flexor, the abductor, and the opponents. So flexor, digiti minimi brevis, abductor, digiti minimi, and opponents, digiti minimi. There's a muscle known as palmaris brevis. It is not considered as a hypothenar, but it is close to that vicinity. Finally, like the foot, we are down to two other muscles. One is the lumbricals and then you've got the interossei, the dorsal and the palmar interossei and the four lumbricals. For the innovation, on the medial side, the first three fingers, including the thumb, you have the median nerve. For the last two fingers, you've got the ulnar nerve and for the posterior hand you've got the radial nerve. You have the ulnar and the radial arteries giving us the deep palmar arch and it's the same for the veins. The arteries will come from the brachial artery and the veins will drain into the cephalic vein. It's time to revise. So bones, carpals, metacarpals, phalanges, joint, radiocarpal, Muscles, extrinsic, intrinsic, for intrinsic, thenar and hypothenar, for thenar, the thumb, so abductor, flexor, pollicis brevis, and then opponents, pollicis. Hypothenar, the little finger, so abductor, flexor, and opponents, digiti, minimi. Only the flexor has a brevis, then you have the palmaris brevis, and then the adductor, Policies. Then for all the digits, you have the lumbricals and the interossei, dorsal and palmar. All right, innovation. The first three and a half fingers is median, including the thumb. Then the last one and a half would be the ulna. The posterior would be radial. Blood supply with the bones, ulna and radial arteries from the brachial and veins are the same, draining into the cephalic. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Take care. Bye-bye.